Hi, I'm Saverio from Honor Plugins. Today I'm here to show you our latest creation, which is a, a cassette emulation, and it's called Cassette 644. The name is after uh, the hardware unit we use to model the plugin, because this plugin is actually a real model of a real hardware unit, and it's uh, modeled after uh, four tracks tape uh, cassette recorder that was made at the end of the 80s by a Japanese company very famous for their four tracks cassette recorders and uh, it was one of the best recorders at the time uh, that you can have you can have in your home studio and uh, we decided to model the EQ section for the mixer and the cassette section of course we have modeled uh, all the three different type of cassette that you can use which are the Type 1, Type 1, Type 2 and Type 4 and uh, normal chrome and metal cassette and uh, we modeled uh, accurately the equalizer that works uh, in a very peculiar way I mean the high shelf is actually uh, a low shelf for example after a certain amount of gain and this was made to reduce the tape heels that you were going to uh, put, in, put uh, inside the equalizer for example and uh, we also modeled uh, the different transport speed that was available in the other units. So you have a high speed and a low speed mode. And then we modeled the heels, we modeled the analog uh, saturation, uh, we modeled everything from the unit, from the original hardware unit, and we put that into a handy VST uh, plugin. So uh, I'm going to explain you, to show you the interface and explain you every, every feature we have. So this is the actual interface of the plugin. It's available both in light and dark mode according to the setting uh, in your operating system. And on the left we have the equalizer section that can be turned on or off. And uh, of course we have the high shelf, the mid frequency equalizer that can be adjusted both in frequency and gain. And then we have the low shelf and the his switch that is useful if you want to turn off the he is generated by the uh, mixer section of the plugin. Then we have the cassette section. With the cassette emulation, you can choose between three different types of cassettes, of course, and uh, the frequency response changes a lot between each of the, of the cassette, and also the noise floor changes. So uh, experiment with that and choose your your favorite one according to the application you are doing, you are um, uh, using at the moment. Uh, then we have the speed selection, low speed and high speed, um, and the heat control. You can turn that on or off, and the heat level changes accordingly. Then we have the general section here where you can choose the oversimple amount. Uh, between none, two times, four times, or auto. Auto changes the oversample between uh, none, two, and four according to according to the sample rate of your section. So, if you have a high enough sample rate, no oversampling is applied. Otherwise, it's chosen it's chosen the right one to have enough bandwidth for the plugin to sound good. Uh, then you can choose the routing. Uh, um, of the, the two modules, so you can choose to go from the EQ into the cassette or uh, the, from the cassette into the EQ. Now I'm leaving this for the moment. Then you have the link option, which is very useful to um, simulate a virtual um, cassette, uh, multi-track cassette recorder, because we, when this option is on, every common parameter like the type of the cassette, the speed, the ears, um, the oversample, uh, and some other parameters are passed through instances. That means that if I change the type of uh, the cassette in one instance, then uh, it is changed on all the other instances. So if I change it now to metal, it changes also here. So uh, just uh, with, with this switch turned on, you can have your virtual multi-track uh, cassette recorder. And then uh, you also have the, on the right uh, the view meters. They are modeled after the real view meters of the hardware units, so they are not peak meters and they behave like view meters. So, show, so they should that not, that does not show the peaks, but the average level of the signal 
And then you have the input and output gain, which are linked together. So increasing the output in the input gain lowers accordingly the output gain. You can, of course, disable this function and adjust them independently, but this is very handy to maintain a constant loudness level that is useful uh, in judging the plugin sound. So uh, there is not much to say. Um, it's better to have a listen to how the plugin sound. Um, I have a drum track, drum bus here. I have put the plugin on the drum bus. Uh, given, given some of the high frequency, um, adjusted the gain put gain. I have chosen to use a, a chroma tape, uh, and let's listen to how it sounds. So as you heard, uh, the, changes, the, the sound changes a lot between uh, each of the cassette types, so experiment with the one you like. If I was to use um, a normal cassette, I would have dialed in much more um, high frequency than I did with a, with a Chrome cassette. Uh, but the nice, the funny stuff starts when you use multiple instances of that and you simulate your virtual, virtual tr um, multi-track cassette recorder. So, as you have probably heard, uh, the sound is very nice, it's very peculiar, it's the cassette sound, and uh, you have many options in sound shaping and sound design with a plugin like this. So, this is Hornet Cassette 644, and it's available right now on our website www.hornetplugins.com. You can go to our website and download the demo, try it out for yourself. And uh, of course, we want to hear your feedback. So write down your comments here below in the video or uh, just write us uh, using our social networks or our email. We are really curious to know if you like this plugin. Thank you very much for watching the video.